All right, so my other collection update today is that I am very, very, very close. I just need to do like a little bit more clear coating on my pterosaur. I got the Kingdom Waspinator in stores, which I was extremely excited to find, and he's a very good toy. I'm actually very optimistic and uh, excited for the future of Beast Wars. Like, I really just need the uh, Tarantulas and um, uh, Inferno to complete my Season 1 shelf, or Season 1 of Beast Wars shelf. Um, that's my brother bottle flipping uh, upstairs. And I also got a display space, um, just to kind of show you the display that I, this, there they are, so. I really do like the um, Waspinator. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with him. I'm like the the pictures that were shown from uh, like the official Hasbro actually. They just do not do this figure justice. Like in person, like even on the video, it doesn't look as good as it does in person. I thought his head looked way too small, and um, the chest was oddly small as well. But no, it, it looks extremely, extremely good, and. I actually haven't scaled it up yet, so I don't know, or like scaled it with the other guys, because Waspinator is actually supposed to be the tallest, um, kind of like deluxe one. He's like all right, he's not too bad, and I, I really don't know a way how I could make this guy taller other than uh, just moving the feet a little bit, like down, like that. That helps a little bit, but I'm, I'm really not going to be displaying this guy like on the ground with him, so. Like, the aerial-based ones don't really matter to me, uh, but Pterosaur kind of did. And I'll show a little image real quick. Pterosaur should not be a deluxe. Like, I would have been fine if they retooled, like, the legs and arms and gave them to us at a Voyager price, but he should be Voyager, not deluxe, not deluxe. And that's why I hate what Hasbro did with uh, the Golden Del Disc one. I was so disappointed with this. This is a custom that I'm making out of like ant, like an ant inferno, like two completely different animals that seem like they would not lend themselves to each other. And this isn't like the red that was on it. This is all painted red uh, and painted silver. I'm not done with the gun, so it looks a little bit weird, but um, like it was just so ugly. It's like the worst, I think it's gen genuinely the worst Beast Wars one that they've done this far. Maybe, like, unaltered Scorponok. Like, if you buy Scorponok stock, maybe that might be the worst. But Pterosaur was still really, really bad. I also want to buy more stands just because uh, this is, like, that's it for support. <laughs> and these aren't actually supposed to be left on there. I just left them on there. So it had more support. But, yeah. So I'm really excited to get this guy finally done. And kind of do a review for him. I'm not for sure what I'm going to do with him. I might just do like a showcase, like not a stop motion. Um, I don't know, because stop motion takes a while. It's it's not too hard, but then again, mine don't look the best. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So hopefully my grapple review, my masterpiece grapple review will be up soon. Um, don't keep hopes for it. <laughs> it's been about like a week or two weeks now. Since my last review, it's just been a while because there's a lot going on with just like school events and other stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a, have a great week.